Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. And let me know in the comments which project featured this week is your favorite. Let the countdown begin. Number eight. Death is a certainty, so bring them with you. In one man, six bullets, you battle a horde of zombies with only six in the chamber. By aiming just right, you might be able to ricochet the bullets back towards you so you can reload. Strategy is the name of the game as you try to maximize your ammo by planning bullet paths so you can grab them back. One Man Six Bullets is available right now on itch.io. Number seven. This tap and play game for mobile is currently under development but already looks like a fun game to try. Aim and tap to slow time and release to send yourself in the direction of the orbs. I really like the simple graphical style mixed with the soft gradients and contrast, making for a very pleasing visual look. We're looking forward to seeing how the game progresses, and you can too by checking their game page on itch.io. Number 6. The only good bug is a dead bug. In Guns and Rushes, you build towers to neutralize the gigantic waves of tens of thousands of aliens. Construct resources and ammunition buildings, choosing your support buildings wisely, and you can become an unstoppable, bug-killing force. With randomly generated maps, alien waves, and unlockable towers, you'll have plenty of practice in beating back the bug infestation. Number 5. The town needs saving and you're the one to do it. Gormaday is a role-playing board game where characters take turns moving around the board and battling monsters. With a rock-paper-scissors combat system, you guess the opponent's moves in order to gain action points, to activate special abilities and increase damage and defense. Customize your character, use magic items, and survive random enemy encounters to save the town. Number 4 Number 4 is an example project by Immortal Ray, showcasing some AI-generated path tracing that emulates ray tracing, without ray tracing hardware. The latest video shows off some subsurface scattering, transmission, and diffuse reflection. The effect looks excellent, even running on integrated graphics. The AI model trains on actual path tracing and draws what it knows the output might look like via the shader code, all running within Gato. Number three. Choose wisely as you build the road from your evil tower into the beautiful landscape around you as you conquer and claim tiles in Ravage Road. This tower defense deck building roguelite lets you hire minions, upgrade your cards, and prepare your defense against the heroes set to stop you. Build roads, play cards, defend your tower, and beat bosses in your pursuit to conquer the Ravage Road. Number two. Sometimes simple is best, even if it's a pain in the ax. Speaking of, Pain in the Axe is an example of the importance of finishing a project and the satisfaction that can bring. Hit as many targets as you can with your axe, but look out for bombs and the walls and the edge of the screen. Okay, maybe it's not so simple, but you can play Pain in the Axe right now on itch.io. Number one. Hit the road and drive your muscle car through a post-apocalyptic world. Franz Fury, built in Gato 3, lets you customize your car with weapons, engines, armors, and specials as you meet crazy friends and insane enemies on your journey. The art style and gameplay give off a great Mad Max vibe. Employ your own style as you upgrade your car and items as you enjoy a classic, old-school, top-down shooter. For more cool projects being done in Gato, be sure to check out this video here. And I'll be back next week with another This Week in Gato.